<laughs> holy afternoon, holy afternoon. Praise be to Jesus, Allah, Buddha, whoever God you perceive him to be. I'm uh, going on to the seventh chapter of these uh, lecture series, which I'm trying not to water down. Uh, rattling the cage. What is rattling the cage? How do you define rattling the cage? Well, as you all know, I've been behind bars a number of times, and when you go through the terror of being, you know, detained and locked up and then thrown into these, these violent situations where you have no control, it's, you know, it's easy to be sheepish, you know, and, 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 and secure, you know, you don't want to, I don't want to say too much, I might get beat up or killed. Well, I had a situation once where I was in the joint. There was no food. I get a phone call. And this bold motherfucker, he comes out. And this motherfucker is kicking the door. He is rattling the, the door to the, to the cell block. And I'm like, this guy's got some fucking cojones, you know? What's he doing? And we all wanted to eat. But this guy was a fucking leader. He got up and he rattled the cage and he kept pounding on the page and pounding on the cage. I said, man, they're gonna come in, they're gonna tase him. Pepper spray him in the face. Guess what? They came in, they didn't know, they forgot. They're fucking off on their cell phones. I said, oh man, I'm sorry, you know? Like I said, some people just don't know. This goes back to a closed mouth, don't get fed. And unfortunately, I think it has some deeper, you know, subconscious psychological connotations or denotations that what we're dealing with is uh, um, in a world where there's so much fraud, so much fakery, so much bullshit. Um, you know, my heart and I think our hearts just can't take no more of that inauthentic bullshit. And for me, I employ a strategy called rattling the cage. And when you've been in the situation like I've been, and I, and I always look to dogs like that, you know, you, you're heating a dog, you're beating a dog, you're beating a dog. You know, some dogs won't bite you. But there comes a point, when you hit that motherfucking dog, he's going to bite the shit out of you. And then he's going to tear your ass up. And when you get to that, that point, there's only so much you're going to take. Otherwise, they're just going to roll all over you, baby. They're going to roll all over you. So you have to get to that death before dishonor mind state. You know, it may be a little militant. Some people may not recommend you go that way. I'm just saying. I mean, if you get stepped on, you get stepped on. You know, you get treated like a punk. With that said, you don't want to die over a pair of tennis shoes, but rattle the fucking cage. I rattle the cage all the time. They rattle my fucking cage. They rattle your cage. Don't it give you equal right? Rattle the fucking cage. You know? Imagine iron bars in a jail cell and you got a billy club and you just rah, 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 rattle that fucking cage. Just rattle it. And uh, I'll tell you what, I don't like throwing guys' names out here, but I want to bring this to a close because the close is actually just beginning. Brian Rose, London Real, uh, you know, big name out in London. I tried to bring it back here to America, particularly here in the South. And uh, if you guys followed my channel back earlier, the storm shit, all that shit, when I fucked up, I was uh, drunk, I was a fool. I got kicked out of the school on the 10th day because of my obscene vulgarities and my language and all that shit. I went into a tirade, lashed out. I was going through a lot of shit. And uh, you know, unfortunately, Mr. Rose blocked me, you know, and uh, I went back and I've had a lot of time to think about it. And I tell you what, Brian's back. And uh, I believe I'm unblocked, I don't know. But I've joined his uh, marketing, what's it called, uh, 
startup incubator, some type of thing, I recommend you guys check it out. He's a guy of mercy. He did refund three hundred dollars, but to that saga, I felt like a lot of what I did in that course, looking back, is rattling the cage. You know, I push, pull, or drag. I want to see. You know, I'm going to rattle the cage, and if you're going to drop me. Then you're not, I don't feel as a candidate that you're willing to pull me through the course to the degree that I'm, I'm suffering with it. I know that may sound like a prima donna, you know, type thing, and, and, and this is just a, a, t a case scenario that could apply to a lot of things. It could apply to your job. Your boss ain't giving you the raise you want. It could apply to your wife. You know, she keeps fucking guys and lying to you. It's like, you know, I don't mind you fucking other guys. You know, fuck, I might want to watch, but, you know, don't lie to me. You gotta fucking lie. You know, people are not doing that. You gotta rattle the cage. And sometimes rattling the cage, saber rattling, you know, bucking, bucking, whatever you wanna call it, sometimes you gotta buck. But in the words of Crime Bob, knuck. If you buck, which means knuckles. Don't get to that level, but don't be subdued. Buck them. Buck them, and they keep fucking with you. Either knock them or walk away. Otherwise, you're their bitch. That's all I got for today. Take it easy.